on guys, Justin Fuller, ex-Honda salesman for almost a decade, and today I'm gonna be walking through some tips and tricks on the 2023 Honda CRV. So you don't own this thing for two, three, four years to only find out it does all this cool stuff. So let's hop on in and show you some things. tricks I want to show you is related to the key fob. I don't know if you know this, but if you press the unlock button and then press it a second time and hold, it'll actually roll down your windows and your moonroof if you got one automatically on the car. Now, the question is, if I have this and I'm sitting on the couch and it's raining outside and I actually roll over on it, can I roll the windows down in the storm? And the answer is yes. So if you want to turn this feature on or off, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so to make this change, we're gonna be using the mini back here and the steering wheel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this home button and then we're gonna scroll using this, right? Okay, so here we are at the dash and what I've done is I'm gonna scroll around here and we wanna go down to settings. So once you get into settings, you wanna go ahead and select that. Now from here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down. We're gonna to wanna to go to door setup. So when you get down to door setup, you're gonna go ahead and select it. Now from door setup, we're gonna scroll all the way down here and it's gonna say keyless remote power window controls. If you select that, it's currently turned on. You can then scroll down and turn that off, which means you won't be able to use this feature to roll down the windows if it's hot outside, but you can avoid it in case it's raining and you're worried about accidentally doing it because you have the keys in your pocket and maybe you're sitting or laying down on the couch. If you want it on, just go ahead and flip it on and then select it. All right guys, so if you're like me, chances are you're getting your keys together, all your belongings, you know, whatever you've got, you're hopping out of your car, you're turning it off and you're heading into work or you're heading maybe into the grocery store, wherever it may be, and you get about halfway there, you get in and go, oh my God, I don't know if I locked the doors. And then you go into panic mode because you got stuff in the car and you got to turn around and walk all the way back and then, you know, go, and start hitting stuff to either get the alarm to go off or to hear that beeping sound or you gotta walk all the way back to the car and touch the door handle to make sure. Well, what if I told you, you could set the car up where you get 10 feet from the car and you've got this key in your hand, it'll automatically lock the doors for you. Let me show you how to set that up. All right guys, so once again, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna jump into settings. Now, once you're into settings, you wanna go down to door setup. Now, once you are under door setup, you're gonna select it. And I wanna say it's the second or third one down here, you're gonna see walk away auto lock. So the default of this feature is to be turned off. If you turn this feature on, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, now when I get out of the car and I walk more than 10 feet away and I have the key fob with me, it'll automatically lock the doors for me. Now today we're in sunny Austin, Texas, but if you find yourself in inclement weather where it's raining, snowing, just poor weather in general, the last thing you wanna do is walk up to your car, you put your handle on the door and it unlocks your door, but it leaves all the remainders locked. Well, what if I told you you could set up to where when you touch the door handle, it'll unlock every door so that everybody can get in the car quickly. Let me show you how to set that up. Okay, so what we wanna do is go to settings. Now, once we get into the settings, we're gonna scroll down. Uh, and we're gonna come down here until we get to keyless access setup. And then we're gonna go ahead and select that. Now the very first one is door unlock mode. If you select that, the default is set for driver's door only, meaning that when I put my hand on the door, it'll automatically unlock the door. But if I scroll down, I can select this to all doors. So when I touch the door, it'll unlock every door so that everybody in the family can go ahead and hop on in the car and we don't have to worry about rain, snow, sleet, whatever the case may be. So for this next tip or trip, I wanna show you how to do some custom things using Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So in a second here, we're gonna hop over to the dashboard and I wanna show you how to set up custom backgrounds, how to change the order of all your apps that you see on the screen, how to create custom actions, right? To immediately call someone or to immediately, uh, you know, give you directions somewhere or whatever the case may be, right? Immediately pull up a calendar or create an, an invite or do whatever it is. Uh, so some different things you could do and then you can set it up to where your navigation shows in different places on the screen and all that. So I'm going to show you using my Google Pixel 7 Pro uh, on the screen, but this will work the exact same for my Apple users. So let's hop on in. So first I want to show you how to change the background here. Changing the background is actually pretty simple. You go to settings in here. If you scroll down, there's actually a wallpaper selection. When you get to wallpaper, you can come through here and then pick one that you want, right? Once you've done that, you can kind of back out and it'll actually just change it for you. Very simple process to change that. Now, the second part is, hey, what if I want to switch this to where I want my navigation on this side and my media closer to me? Well, you could do that as well. And you're going to do it in the same place. We're going to go back to settings and we're going to scroll almost to the very bottom here. Uh, and when we get down here, you're going to see change layout. If you go to change layout, I can go media closer to driver. And then now when I select this, it'll put the media closer and it'll move my navigation over. So kind of a cool way to customize this. Now, the last thing that I wanna show you how to do is create those custom actions. And then of course, arrange all of your, your selections here in any order that you want. So to do this, we're gonna scroll to the very bottom and we're gonna go to customize. Now, when you select customize, it is gonna pull up 
the phone app, right? And show you all of your different things here. So if I wanna rearrange the order of stuff, all I've gotta do is select it and move it around, right? So very easy to do. Uh, so, you know, I can do that just like that. Now, for it to take place though, I'm gonna to have to either turn the car off and turn it back on or unplug this and plug it back in. But the second part is I wanna show you how to set up a custom action. So setting up an action is actually pretty simple. If I wanna set it up to call a contact, I just do that and then I go find my contact and select them. Not hard to do. If I wanna go the opposite way and do an assistant action, this is where I could come in here and go, okay, I want, you know, um, directions to nearest McDonald's, right? And then from here, I would just name it whatever I want. Oops, I'm still using my voice command. So maybe I just do MCD, right? And that works for me. From there, I can test the command if I want or if I know that it's gonna work, go ahead and create that action. Now, once you do, it's gonna drop it in at like the bottom of the screen. So you're gonna have to kind of scroll down here and then move it to where you want or know that it's gonna be like your very last option. Uh, so I'm gonna scoot it all the way up here to where I think it's on the very top. Okay, so MCD is on the very top. So now that I have this done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect and then I'm gonna reconnect this back up. Now, once I do that, it's gonna start to load up again. Uh, and this way it'll pull up Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, whatever you're using. Now, once I've done that, I can jump over here and now you'll see the MCD is the very first option and then home calendar on uh, my phone, right? To call me directly. Uh, so if I wanted to do that, go ahead and select it. When I do, it'll fill in the prompt for me, McDonald's right? is three minutes from your location by car in light traffic. And then it'll pull up maps and start directing me there. So super cool uh, ways that you can customize Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So have you ever been in the back of someone's car and they go ahead and get to the destination and you go to get out and you start yanking on the door and you're like, hey, it won't let me out. Uh, and you have to ask your driver to unlock the doors for you. Well, Hondas are set up the same way. So you can actually change that to where when they shift the car to park, it'll unlock all the doors or when they turn the ignition off, uh, it'll unlock all the cars, uh, all the doors to the car as well. So that while the driver can continue to get their bags and their purse and whatever items they have together ready, the remaining passengers can get out of the car. So let me show you how to set that up. So to get to this feature, we're gonna go on to go to the settings again. Now, once we're under setting, we wanna go to door setup. So we're gonna come on down here and when we get to door setup, we're gonna go ahead and select it. And then once under door setup, we wanna go to auto door unlock. Now from here, the default is set when the driver's door open and then unlocks the remaining doors of the car. But you can change this to when you shift to park and unlocks all the doors, or you can turn it when you turn the ignition off, it'll unlock all the doors, or you can turn this feature completely off. So for the sake of this, let's say I'm gonna say, hey, when we shift to park, I want it to unlock all the doors of the vehicle. All right guys, so these next couple tips or tricks are gonna be related to gas and the gas door specifically. Now the first thing I wanna let you know is, did you know that the gas door now is electronic and it's connected to the door locks? So if you have the doors locked, this won't open. But if you unlock the doors, you can pop this sucker right on open. Pretty cool, right? Now, the second part to this, I wanna pull you in. So on here, you're gonna notice that this doesn't have a cap, right? It's capless and it's got a valve on it. So if you ever ran out of gas and you don't have a gas can, you're gonna to need to be able to hold this open so that you can pour gas down into this. Now, Honda has built something in to help you out with that. If you come around to the back over here, when you get back here, there's actually a panel right here. And if you take this panel off, you'll find that there's the tire repair kit for the car. So since it is a hybrid, it does not come with a spare, but there's this funnel right here. If you take this funnel, this is designed to hold that open to where you can pour gas down into the car. A second part to this is, what if this gets stuck and you can't get it open? Is there a release for it other than just the door locks? The answer is absolutely yes. In this same panel that we just took off, if you look back here, there is a yellow cord that you can pull that when it gets stuck, you can pull this cord and it will release this to where you can pop it open. So this next super trick is gonna be related specifically to your parking brake. Uh, so if you've got that set, there's a reason I have my seatbelt on and I wanna explain it because I've gotten the car a million times and I've tried to start driving and then I realize the parking brake's on. I'm like, why is the car not moving? Well, Honda's set up with a specific feature. If you have your seatbelt on and you turn the car on, right? The parking brake can still be on. I'm gonna shift the car to drive, but because I'm wearing my seatbelt, if I take my foot off the brake and touch the gas, it'll automatically release that for me so that I don't have to remember to turn it on and off. So what are your thoughts on remote start, right? So if you don't know, on the key fob, there's a remote start button. The car always has to be locked to start it, but then you'll press the, uh, it's got like a half circle on it. You'll press it and then press and hold. And if you hold, if you're walking out the car, you'll see it like flash and then the car will crank on, which is nice, right? You can get the AC or the heat going. I uh, just kind of get the car running so when you walk out to it, it's not freezing or not super hot. However, I know it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. They're worried that in their pocket, they might accidentally start their car and the car's just sitting out there in the parking lot running. Well, two things. One, it's got a 10 minute timer on it. Now, if you wanna extend that timer, you absolutely can by pressing that remote start button again, and now you can push it out to 20 minutes. But if you just really like for that feature not to work, know that you can turn it off. Let me show you how to do that. So to turn this feature off, we're gonna go into settings. All right, so we wanna go into keyless access setup. Now, once we're in here, I wanna say it's three or four down. 
you're gonna see remote start on and off. So it's the default is for this feature to be on, but if you wanna turn it off, scroll out to off and just simply select it. And now you don't have to ever worry about accidentally remote starting your car if your keys are in your pocket. This next tip or trick is gonna be related to locking your keys in your car. I don't know if you know this, but the car is set up with a smart key setup to where it won't lock the doors if the key is in the car. But there are those rare occasions where you may wanna lock the keys in the car because you're gonna leave it in a parking lot or you're gonna go float the river, or do whatever it is, and somebody else is gonna come by and pick it up, right? That may be the case because they'll have the spare. Well, know that currently you can't lock the doors, but you can change that. Let me show you how. So to set this up, we're gonna go into settings. And then when we get to settings, uh, we're gonna scroll down to door setup. So we want to come on down here to door setup. And now when we get into door setup, I want to say it's near the very bottom. Uh, you're going to see it right here, lockout prevention. So currently this is set up to be on, meaning that if you leave the key in the car and you go to get out and lock the doors, it won't lock. It's going to beep at you. If you want to turn that off so that you can lock it, because maybe you want to leave the key in because somebody's coming by with a spare key to pick it up later, you would want to turn this feature off. So Hondas are known for safety and reliability. I don't think that's a big surprise. Chances are if you're watching this video, you already know that. But one of the things that I really like as far as a safety feature is that there is a camera in the car and it's up above the rearview mirror and it detects lines on the road and does all these things, but it also works in traffic sign recognition. Meaning that when you're driving down the road, a lot of times GPS will tell you what the speed limit should be, but if you come up on like a work zone or somewhere where it changes, that camera will pick it up and it'll display it uh, in the dash so that you'll know what the speed limit it is. So if you're traveling a lot, that can be super helpful because the last thing you wanna do is get caught in a speed trap speeding, not even knowing it. But what I really like is that you can change the settings to where when you're going like three miles over the speed limit or five, it can be set to beep to let you know like, hey, you're speeding. So if you happen to drive a lot for work, this can be really helpful. Let me show you how to turn on those alerts. Okay, so to get to this setting, uh, we're going into settings. And when we get into setting, we're going to go to driver assisted system setup. Now, if you want to change the threshold as far as that warning, you want to come down to speed limits. Now, once here, you can come in here and go, hey, I want the speed limit plus three, or maybe you're like, nah, not three, but maybe it's, hey, if I get 10 over, yeah, I want you to give me a beep in the car to let me know that I'm speeding in a way that might get me pulled over. All right, guys, so I, I appreciate you tuning in and checking out all these tips and tricks. I want to ask you for a couple favors, though. One, I hope that you'll press the like button because I hope that you appreciate the way I present this content and hopefully these tips and tricks help you out. The second part to this is I hope that you'll leave a comment, especially if you have a tip or trick that you feel like I missed, that's something kind of cool that you know about. I hope that you'll leave a comment to let me know because I'd love to add to this and kind of create one master list of a lot of really cool tips and tricks because like I said, there's nothing worse than owning a car for two or three or four years to later find out it does something that could have been really useful to you. Uh, after that, I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel so when I make tips and tricks videos like this, if I make just reviews or comparison videos, you'll absolutely check them out. And then I hope you'll press the, the, uh, the bell button so that when I do create those videos, uh, you'll get those notifications. So other than that, hope you'll like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. Let it go!